tonight at 530 new information in the case that we've been following now for years. We now know Vernell Smith Jr. will spend the rest of his life in prison in court today. He entered what's called an Alford plea in a brutal 2017 crime. An Alford plea means that he maintains that he's innocent but acknowledges prosecutors have enough evidence to convict him. The case involves the murder of his wife's parents, as well as the rape and torture of his wife for two days. Prosecutors originally sought the death penalty for him. NBC Charlotte's Brandon Goldner was in court as his wife spoke publicly for the first time about these frightening crimes. It was an incredibly emotional day in court. We actually heard family of the victim and Vernell Smith Jr. getting into a verbal confrontation right in the middle of court. This emotional outburst happened right before we heard for the first time from Vernell Smith Jr.'s then wife. You took the lives of two innocent, hardworking, loving people for your own satisfaction. She says in 2017, she came home to find Smith, who ambushed and attacked her. She described in painful detail being raped and tortured over two days. Smith also bound and killed her parents, stuffing her father in a car trunk. My dad was a man of three words, but when he spoke, he spoke the truth. They were both God parent people who loved the Lord. She eventually escaped and called police. They arrested Smith following a nearly week-long manhunt. Before being sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole, Smith defended his character. As part of this deal, the family asked that Vernell Smith Jr. not be placed in the same prison as his son, who's also serving a life sentence. Outside the Mecklenburg County Courthouse, Brandon Goldner, NBC Charlotte.